Save the Children was born in 1919. A hundred years is not a milestone that many organizations or individuals can claim to have reached. And for us, it's been a tireless, relentless journey to ensure that every child has access to their rights, every child has a voice. But when we look back at 100 years, because 100 is also a time to reflect, we wonder what it would be like to live in a world where children don't need to be saved. Perhaps we could live in a world where Save the Children does not need to exist. And so as we look at the future, we envision a world which is much kinder to its children. A world in which children no longer need to be protected from violence. Where children are not needlessly dying before they turn five. Where every child is going to school, is learning, is playing, and is on that path towards fulfilling their full potential. As we turn 100, we pledge to work towards that future of a much kinder and brighter world for children. Every day, every hour, every minute, we will continue on that path. But we also know we can't do it alone. We want to work closely with the communities, with our partners, with the government, and most importantly, with the children themselves. They are going to be the change makers of tomorrow. Children like Onoyara, like Rahul, like Salman, like Mamta, they are the ones who are breaking gender stereotypes. They are challenging social norms and they are changing the world and the lives of themselves and also children around them. We pledge to continue working with them, alongside them, to ensure that every child gets the right start. I'm Bidisha Pillay and I invite you to join Save the Children in our commitment to ensure that every child gets the right start.